Just about everyone agrees that the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 is awesome. And just about everyone agrees that the grip on the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 could use some improvement. A lot of people just change the grip out. I know there are many aftermarket grips available, but I'm going to choose a faster and much less expensive option. I'm going to put, you know what, one of my very favorite products, a Talon grip. Now I had Talon send me two, one in black and one in moss, and you can see that the moss is a really nice color match. And while the black would add a nice, kind of a nice two-tone effect, and sometimes that's what I'm going for, I think, in this case, at least initially, I'm going to try this moss, because, again, I think that is a nice color match to this flat, dark earth. So, let's do it, shall we? So, if you're familiar with installing Talon Grips, or if you've watched me do it half a million times, you know that one of the recommended steps is to take the slide off a handgun before you put it on a handgun. Well, this isn't a handgun, but we can take this grip off relatively simply by just removing one screw. Using a 3 millimeter hex wrench, I am just going to take out this one screw that is holding this grip on. And you don't even need to drop the trigger assembly, although that would be pretty easy to do too. All right, so I changed my mind. To make it easier, I did drop the trigger assembly, which is simple. And that is beyond the scope of this video. But then to remove the grip, once you've done that, the grip doesn't pull down, it slides back. So you just want to sort of, I'm just tapping it with the heel of my hand. That's all you need. And then you can take it right off. So we get all of this out of our way. And we can work with just this. That's about as simple as it gets. So let's put a talon grip on here. And we're going to start with, of course, the usual process. Use our alcohol wipe that Talon provides. And get this thing good and clean. My hands are clean. It's important also for your hands to be clean. Doesn't do any good to clean the grip if you got greasy hands. Okay. There we go. All clean and ready for installation. So, here's our grip. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to peel the whole backer off of this thing. In theory, this should be about the easiest install I've ever done since I've just got the grip right here. I'm really not sure what the these holes are for because um, there's no logo or anything. So let me wrap it around and see how it's fitting. Okay, that looks good. So I'm just kind of seeing that I have it pretty well centered and I'm happy with that so I'm just sort of working it around to make sure I don't leave any air pockets in it Boy, this really is easy when you, when you have the grip completely removed like this. And I can just lift that up and work this right around. I think we're still... Eh, I don't know. I may not be happy with that angle. I may want to re-angle this just a tiny bit. 
good this way. All right. So, then we'll take that out, coming back this way. And as I've told you many times, you can you can lift this grip tape and relay it several times without any fear of hurting anything. Of course, the less you touch the adhesive, the better. I'm not real happy with that. Let me cut that. I like everything else, I'm just not, not happy with that. So I've obviously done something wrong. But there. Little modification, and nobody will know what a bad job I did. That is, if I didn't have this camera running. All right. Okay, looks good. I do like the color match. Look at that. That's a nice... That is just about perfect. I mean, there's just enough of a difference in color. Just enough to be able to see that there's a grip on there, but barely. All right, well, you guys know the drill, so the next thing we got to do is heat it and smush it. All right, got it nice and hot now. Let me smush it all down, especially the edges and the seam at the front. Now, because this is the pistol grip on a carbine, it's a lot less likely to be handled quite as roughly as a handgun. But I still want it to last a really long time. And this is what ensures that. I am really impressed with this color match. I like it. I like it a whole lot. Looking good. All right, let's put this thing back on. All right, get her back together. the trigger back and now look at that look at that match that looks great and it feels boy that feels nice it looks great and it feels really nice just like talons always do really improves the grip excellent excellent so there you go, folks. Talon grip. Easy peasy on the CZ Scorpion Evo 3.